Hi again, everybody. Welcome back inside Head Coach Tommy Tuberville's office here on National Signing Day. Fifteen letters of intent have come rolling in thus far. We are going to talk about some of the individuals in our second report. But first, a general topic, and that is competing against the so-called Power Five conferences. As we look at this list of names, almost all of these guys had offers from other schools in those uh, Power Five leagues. Tell us a little bit about trying to compete with those schools for these players. Well, we're on the same level, and we want to compete on the same level. But, you know, a lot of the schools that, uh, that are not in the Power Five, they kind of compete against each other, and we do to some degree. But uh, we took the direction this year of, hey, we're going to go and try to get the best players. I don't care who else is recruiting them. Now, it doesn't mean that if – if some teams that are, were in the top 10 this year were recruiting a player, that they're a good football player. Or they might not fit what we do or want or need or might not fit in at the university here at Cincinnati. So you have to look at all those factors. So we took the so-called big boys on head on. And, uh, uh, I mean, you got to work at it. you got to evaluate. And uh, we won some. We lost some. But that's, that's going to happen. It happens every year. But uh, we just felt like the direction this football program needs to go is throw a name in a hat knowing that, uh, hey, we want the best, we're going to play with the best, and uh, we're going to mix it up with them. And uh, I was uh, fairly surprised of how things went. All right, we're going to look at some individual names now. As I mentioned, 15 letters of intent are in, so we're going to look at eight people in this record, uh, report. We're going alphabetically, starting with Curtis Brooks. Yeah, Curtis Brooks is a kind of a unique individual. Uh, we've had him at camp. We've watched him. He was uh, 6'3", 220 pounds this time last year. And I'd kind of moved him to the back burner uh, until this year. Matter of fact, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, I went personally and watched him play basketball because he went from 220 to 261. Mm. And he handled the weight very well. He moves well. He's a very good basketball player. And I came from the a couple of coaches that I worked for, Jimmy Johnson, Dennis Erickson, R.C. Slocum, that – if a kid plays basketball, you can find out more about their athletic ability and potential to be a, a, a great football player by watching them play basketball, the explosion, the jumping. Curtis was one of these. I went and watched him play, and uh, uh, he didn't have a lot of people offering scholarships on the level that we're, we've moved up to or want to be on. Uh, but once we looked at him, got him committed, they all came in, uh, which is typical. So we held off to the end. We're excited about Curtis being a – uh, either a defensive lineman or possibly an offensive lineman here for the Bearcats. There's one running back in this class, Jared Dokes from Indianapolis. Indianapolis, and uh, he might be the best athlete on the team uh, that we truly know just from camps and watching him play, getting things done. Uh, he's got explosion, comes off the ball. Uh, he rests for a lot of yards. Again, he's one of those that we got in early. We offered, we got him committed, and then we had to hold on. Everybody else comes in uh, swinging. But, uh, you know, that's the great part about it. You've, you've got to be confident on offering scholarships. And once you feel like a guy can fit into what we do here at Cincinnati, you get it out there. If you can get him committed, you know you're going to have to hold on. But uh, Jared stayed with us the entire time. We're excited about him being the really the only running back we signed. Thomas Geddes is a wide receiver from Florida. Oh, Thomas Geddes is a guy that I personally – on an open date, got on an airplane, flew down and watched him play in a high school game. Uh, he's a tall, string bean type of kid. He's going to put on a lot of weight, but can he fly? Uh, he's kind of a Johnny Holton type of guy. Uh, uh, can really jump well, gets off the line of scrimmage, uh, great acceleration, excited about what he'll do for us at wide receiver. You always have to add defensive backs. You added Eric Jenkins, among others. Yeah, Eric's one of the guys that from a junior college. We've got to have depth. Last year, we were down to the to the guys that we were hoping to redshirt because of injury. And uh, Eric's a guy that uh, I think is going to be a great cover corner for us. In this league, you play so many spread offenses, you've got to have corners that can play zone and man. Uh, he'll have to learn zone coverage because he played mostly man in high school. But uh, he's a hitter can really, really play with football knowledge. He's got a lot of football knowledge. Excited about Eric. A few years ago, the basketball team had a guy named Sheck Mudge. You have recruited a player named Malik, and we believe his last name is pronounced Mabudge. Mabudge. Uh, very interesting story on him. He comes up for his official visit. He drives up with his parents from Georgia, uh, stuck 
just south of Lexington in a 35 mile traffic jam for 17 hours in the snowstorm coming to his official visit. So I'm thinking, you know, is, do we have a chance? Uh, this morning going to the signing, he has a flat tire. He's late to, to, to sign his national letter, but tall wide receiver that can really run. He, he, he's gonna be a guy that uh, will come in and have an opportunity to play, but he's very raw and uh, excited about his athletic ability and really the, his desire to play at Cincinnati after going through everything he had to go through to sign his national letter. There are quite a few wide receivers in this class. Another is Marcel Paul. Marcel Paul is uh, going to be fun to watch. Uh, he's a guy that uh, comes to us as, a, as an exciting player with the ball in his hands and, with not in it. and sometimes when it's not in his hands. Very, very good blocker, very physical type of player. Uh, looking forward to him getting here because I think he'll have a chance to break in the line, especially losing six receivers from last year. Fans that follow recruiting closely have heard the name Davin Pierce for a couple of years now. Yeah, Davin uh, is his second time to sign with us. Uh, he did not make his grades, went to a junior college, and uh, he came in for his visit this time. I have not seen him physically other than just on film uh, up close since he left, and he's typical. He's gone off body's completely changed. He's ready to play. He's a junior college guy that will come in and play for us very early. And we're excited that he's the type of guy that we know, we knew when we signed him, he wasn't going to make it. So we put him in a junior college and he came back to us. That's a guy with a lot of loyalty and looking forward to him playing and playing a lot for us next two years. And our last player in this report comes from Georgia, Michael Pitts. Michael Pitts is a guy that everybody recruited. I mean, he could have gone anywhere in the country and uh, Robert Prunty did a great job of recruiting him. Uh, He's uh, originally from Florida, moved up to, to Georgia. He is uh, might be the number one pass rusher in the country. And they talk about all these other guys that are four and five star. I'd put this guy up against anybody. He's explosive off the line of scrimmage. He's going to need to learn to play the run. But man, when you can rush the passer like he does from the corner, he's a faster Silverberry Muhan. Uh, and uh, he is he's going to be fun to watch. He'll play next year. He, I can tell you, he'll be one that will not redshirt. He'll come in and be a factor on our defense very early. Fifteen letters of intent are in. We've covered eight of the players so far. In our next report, we'll look at the next seven. And who knows, there could be another letter of intent or two that arrives by then. For now, for Coach Tupperville, I'm Dan Horde. Thanks for checking out this signing day report here on GoBearCats.com.